Does your leopard gecko avoid you at all costs, run the other way, or maybe even bark at you if you get too close? Well, maybe I can help. Good morning, Reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Elle and this is Elle's Reptiles. This week we are getting back in the swing of things, I think. I think I'm doing pretty good. Yay! So today we are going to be talking all about how to bond with your new pet leopard gecko. Obviously, this is not going to apply to every single leopard gecko. Every leopard gecko is different. Everyone has their own personalities. It's not even guaranteed. This light is very hot. Okay. It's not even really guaranteed that your leopard gecko is going to want to be handled and cuddly and held and things like that. I have two leopard geckos. One of them will come to the glass every single time I come to the glass. The other will run the other way unless I have food to directly give to her and then she will eat and run. It's not guaranteed, but these are some ways that you can help get your leopard gecko more comfortable with you. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by you guys so make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out all about our etsy shop the first one is just leaving them alone the first few days. This is very difficult when you get a brand new animal, but it does help. Yes, there are some people that get their leopard geckos and they handle them immediately and everything's fine, but for the majority of leopard geckos, that's not what you're going to want to do. Everything has changed for this animal. They're in a new tank, they're with new smells, there's new items all around them, they're in a new area, everything is new. Just give them a week or so to settle in and get used to everything before you start handling them and that can help exponentially. A stressed out animal is not going to want to be held, so letting that specific stressor de-stress can be super helpful. Speaking of leaving them alone for a little bit, if you have a tiny tiny little baby leopard gecko, you might need to leave them alone until they get a little bigger. Little baby leopard geckos are tiny and we are giants to them. So trying to handle a tiny little baby leopard gecko might not be possible. Percy, who I told you will come to the glass every single time I come up to it, she wants out, she will crawl directly into my hand. She did not like being handled as a little baby. She was terrified. She would run the other way. Once that kept happening over and over, I just kind of let her be and that helped. Now, now obviously sometimes you might want to handle them more, especially if they're really bitey, things like that, in order to handle them down. There's no right answer to this. Sometimes handling them more helps, sometimes it hurts. There's no right answer. Just do what you feel is best for your animal in that moment. With Percy when she was a baby, I felt that just leaving her alone because she clearly didn't like it was what was best and eventually she got used to me and likes being handled, likes being out of the tank. So that one is a complete play it by ear. I'm so sorry that there's no right answer for that but maybe just try letting them grow up a little bit before you start handling them but putting your hand in that tank a lot is going to help a lot basically the repetition of them seeing your hand over and over and over again and getting used to your smells and your hand being in there and just you in general is going to be super helpful that's what helped with Percy. That is what has helped with so many of my reptiles because the vast majority of them I just didn't force to be held. I just waited until they were comfortable being held. Having your hand in there repeatedly, that animal will usually no longer be scared of your hand, especially if you are bringing them food. Feeding your leopard gecko is probably the number one best way to bond with that leopard gecko. Just bring them food. If you can hand feed them, go for it. If you need to use tongs, go for it. If you just need to put the food into the bowl one by one and have them there in the vicinity getting used to it, go for it. But food is definitely a huge way to make your leopard gecko bond to you, I guess, to trust you faster, to just be okay with you being around. Again, this is the only way that winter up here will let me near her <laughs> is if I have food in my hand and usually she will only come out for wax worms. Wax worms are an amazing treat. I do not recommend feeding them all the time just because they can be addictive to leopard geckos and they are very fattening but giving your leopard gecko treats like wax worms if you can on rare occasions or like little tiny silkworms or little tiny hornworms if they'll eat them. Anything that is special is bonus points for them so keep that in mind 
And the last biggest way to bond with your leopard gecko, once you get to this point, is just by holding them when they will let you, if they will let you. Again, having that constant interaction and them getting used to you is very helpful in them actually being okay, being around you. Start by, I highly suggest starting by holding them in the tank. So putting your hand down into the tank and leaving your hand in the tank don't take them out because then they'll run and flee at least for the first few times once they get comfortable obviously you can take them out but the first few times you hold them put your hand in the tank leave your hand down in the tank and let them just be in your hand in the tank do that repeatedly before you start pulling them out. So your steps here would be to start by just having your hand in the tank. Well, your steps would be to leave them alone and then start by slowly putting your hand in the tank more and more and then by feeding them in the tank and then by holding them in the tank. You can also even put in another step and just like pet them in the tank. They're probably gonna run the other way, but eventually they'll get used to it. Keep in mind, leopard geckos, especially babies, do tend to get scared and they will vocalize. They will almost bark at you and they may bite and they may pee on you. Those are all their defense mechanisms for something trying to get them. Just make sure that you are aware of that. Make sure that you're being careful. Make sure you're not grabbing their tail if they're trying to get away because that tail will come off. Make sure you are being super careful, but eventually, hopefully, with enough time and effort, your leopard gecko will be perfectly okay being held and handled and all of that. But that's it. Super short video. Someone asked, for this video and I was like, that's a really good idea. So here we are. Super short video, hopefully it was helpful in you bringing your baby leopard gecko home or adult leopard gecko, whatever it may be. Hopefully it helps you out. This week's video is sponsored by you guys, basically. It's sponsored by our Etsy. Our Etsy shop is kind of what I put most of my time into now. We have so many things on there. We do shirts and stickers and signs, reptile room signs, mini ones, and big personalized ones with your name on it. We have, did I say ornaments? We have mushroom ornaments. We have feeding ledges for your animals, crystal climbing ledges. We have so many things over there. Tank boots, we invented those and they like raise your tank up so it doesn't squish your heat pad. So make sure if you are interested in supporting us by supporting yourself, you go to ellsreptiles.etsy.com and check out our stuff. It's a lot of fun making that stuff for you guys. Thank you so much to those of you that have supported that and bought things and yeah thank you as always if you haven't already please feel free to follow me on the socials and like subscribe and hit the bell for notifications every single time about a video which is every sunday and some wednesdays uh, it's not every sunday currently we're working with every other sunday and i'm trying to get back to every sunday and i feel like that's gonna happen soon but currently it's every other sunday we're getting there this week's instagram shout is here and the subscribe shout is here thank you so much for liking and following subscribing and commenting and sharing and all that jazz you are the bee's knees. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. This would be helpful if the lights actually shined at me. Okay, test, test. Awesome. Let me take a picture of this cute guy. He's so cute. All right. Oh, right out of the third video. Okay, back to what we were doing. What video am I recording? It's probably important to know. Starting off strong. Let's come forward. That's nice. Oh, yeah, blur the background a little bit. Like we're fancy. I'm already sweating. Okay. What's behind me? What is this? This is. Oh, it's just a water dish. Okay. As always, if you haven't already, please feel free to follow me on my socials. And is it this way? I don't even remember anymore.